Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray and in this video I'm going to be sharing a few tips and tricks for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Now, first of all I want to start off with the tips that um, you can utilize from the ACC which is the helicopter base kind of thing. And the first tip I'm going to share with you is the best way, in my personal opinion, to make money quickly. So as you can see we have our list of resources here let me just show you how to get there because i kind of went there all fast without actually showing you so basically you want to navigate over here you want to go to resources and this will show you all the processed resources that you have and the best way to make money is to sell precious metals because they they cost a thousand per unit i think yep a thousand per unit and you near enough don't need them like there are some late late game um items that you can develop which will utilize about 250 precious metals and stuff like that but for the most part you don't need a thousand of them and i've got like 5700 right about now so i definitely don't need that much uh, so let's sell a thousand and you can basically see how much we'll make from that so there we go Oh, we went a bit far let's just do that because that's that's more than enough that's over a million GMP that we just put into our pockets there from selling a thousand precious metals which you'll find what by navigating the world or raiding other people's FOBs and stuff like that so it's pretty easy to come by also you can sell the excess vehicles that you have Although I wouldn't um, personally suggest that because I usually utilize these vehicles for missions and stuff and once you use them for a mission they're gone so you need to collect another one but you can sell vehicles if you're not using them like these tanks and stuff. I don't think I've ever ever spawned in with a tank because it's just it just doesn't seem like the best strategy to me because it's very um, just in your face assault kind of um, method basically so yeah you can sell vehicles you can sell weapon emplacements that you've stolen i've got way too many mortars i don't even think i can use this many on my base but i haven't sold any thus far uh you can also sell plants and stuff oh wow you get like a thousand per plant of these that's quite um it's quite lucrative you might be able to make even more money by just going around collecting plants to be honest but um, I found that the easiest way to make the most money is to sell precious metals so that's something for you to keep in mind. Also while playing you might see a little notification pop up in the bottom left hand corner of your screen saying that um, a fight has broken out and some people have been admitted to the sick bay and stuff like that. A way to stop that is to actually go through your stuff, let's wait for this to load and you can look at the the skills that these guys have I think do we have any of no well yeah we got a troublemaker here basically when you've got a guy who's a troublemaker in your group he'll start trouble as as it as the name suggests and the way to cancel that out is to actually put two troublemakers in the group or you can just weed out the troublemakers and get rid of them that's a tip that you guys might find useful so i hope that helps you out Clouds. the third tip i want to tell you guys is in order to gain access to weapon customization like this uh what you have to do is you have to complete the capture legendary brown bear and secure stun arm um side missions which will then unlock a period of side missions which uh, allow you to go and capture the legendary gunsmith you'll have to do like around three of those and then you'll be able Clouds to customize your weapons add silences to weapons actually let me delve a bit deeper into the weapon customization so you can see what's going on here this is what i've got um i think i've added did i add yeah i think i've added a suppressor onto it i actually got different suppressors that oh i've got better suppressors that i probably should be using here we go and you can change the scope stuff like that i think we'll stick with this scope actually is this a good scope or do we have better scopes now we probably do have better scopes yeah let's get is this one better i have no clue but um yeah you can 
customize your weapons, you can customize the color, put some camo on there, change it up. And yeah, the way to do that is, as I told you, do the two side missions, which will unlock three more side missions. So it's five side missions Clouds to get that. When I actually unlocked this, I think I had finished the game already because I just didn't do the capture legendary brown bear or the secure stun arm side missions because I didn't think I needed them at all. But um, I was wrong. So I hope that this will help you bypass that and get that pretty early in the game so that you can roll out with your customized weapons and gain much more enjoyment than I did. So here's another tip that I want to show you guys. Um, I'm actually unsure of the number of the tip that we're on so I'm, I'm gonna totally scrap that idea of mentioning a number every time but basically as you can see there are one two three four five six symbols on the map uh, on the right hand side the, those six squares represent um, the difficulty level so basically i think the first one is the fault and balloon as you can see that's kind of light red which means they'll be more alert to fault and balloons and they'll be trying to shoot those down uh, the next one is the helmets that one's kind of red so people are going to be wearing helmets because i've done loads of headshots uh, the third one is the security cameras which means if you get in undetected and no one sees you, they upgrade uh, their security cameras and there'll be more security cameras around. The third one is handguns. I think that's body armor. Yeah, that must be body armor. That means you've been killing a, a load of people, Enemy so they've upgraded detected. to body armor the so that they won't get murdered. The fifth one is the night symbol, which um, basically means they'll have more spotlights and stuff out because you've been attacking at night a lot. And the sixth one, looks to be some sort of sniper thing um i'm quite unsure of that let me get back to you of what that symbol means okay i have absolutely no clue what that um the sixth thing is but i think that would mean snipers um also the the camera symbol also represents the amount of decoys that you'll be seeing on your journeys and whatnot and i think the helmet also would represent gas masks and stuff like that so let me go into this base and I'll share some more tips. So now we've kidnapped this guy so that we can try out different tactics on him. First, let's start with the cardboard box. As you can see, if you hover over the cardboard box, you can press square to change the posters that you can apply to them, which you'll have if you had picked them up around and about. Um, I think you can, can you? There we go. Now this guy should look at the cardboard box and salute me. Wow, that didn't work. I must have the wrong cardboard box out or he must just be ready for action. Let's see if we can change it to a lovely lady, if he'll change his mind. That was a fail. Kick him. Kick his rust class. Let's go a bit further away, so he has some time to look around and see what's up. Come on. Wow, he's really blind. You can't see this cardboard box right in front of him. Alright, so my cardboard box trick didn't work, so we're going to do that on a later tip. Here's another tip you guys might not have known about. Uh, basically, as you complete your journey in the world of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, you'll come across different types of cassette tapes. Like, if you're like me, when you got them, you was probably like, what the fuck is this? Uh, you probably listen to it and you're probably like, oh, well, this, this doesn't really help out. But actually, they do have secret, um, secret effects. So basically, um, how do we loop this? There we go. We've got Afghan lullaby, which will effectively send Afghan soldiers to sleep. So let me get in a cardboard box quickly. Let's play this music and see if he gets up, if he hears this. Really?
Oh, you have to put the speakers on, obviously. My bad. Are we in Afghan? Yes, we are. There you go. As you just saw, he got <laughs> incapacitated from listening to that sort of music. And now he's asleep. And we can do whatever we want with him, basically. So yeah, that was that tip. Let's move on to the next one. Basically, you can throw a magazine in a guy's head and knock them out. Come on. Oh, well that didn't work. Come on. Oh, sleepy time. So if you've been running about, flinging magazines, and a guy catches you off guard, you can just throw one in his head, and he will go straight to sleep like that. Also, if you didn't know already, you can put posters on your cardboard box, which will allow you to do some interesting things. Are you going to check me out? Check me out, mate. Check me out. What's that, mate? It's a lovely lady. Oh my god, give me some of that! The, the soldiers then drop their gun, drop their defenses, and you can get a quick and easy CQC out of that. Also, there are different posters that you can use. You can use uh, this one which works like that, works if you're prone, uh, there's soldier ones, oh I'm unsure which this one works for, okay this just seems like another lady one, there's soldiers which will cause them to uh, salute depending on which one you actually pick, I think the red ones for the Afghans, the blue ones for the Africans but um, I haven't actually made that work so <laughs> I'm not 100% on that another tip you might not know about is if you fully upgrade the stun arm when you charge it to its third slot you'll actually be able to release a Zeus like lightning strike which can take out a whole outpost I think maybe it can take out at least three guys but this is what it looks like Wow, it didn't work because <laughs> there's no one around to shock. But um, yeah, you can take my word for it, guys. You can take my word for it. If you've picked up this cassette tape, which is basically of a soldier taking a shit, then when you're hiding in a toilet, you can play it and enemies will actually leave you alone and they won't check the toilet. Ooh, this seems like another cassette tape that I didn't even know about. Uh, probably if you play this. Ooh, I've got enemy eliminated cassette tape, which should uh, make the enemy like leave me alone. If I play this, they'll think that obviously I've been eliminated and they'll run away. So basically there are loads of different cassette tapes that you can get and they'll all be listed in the acquired tapes these will be the tapes that you can actually use and will have some sort of effect so be sure to check out these and see what cassette tapes you actually have to put into use another thing you guys might not know about is if you want to raise the morale of people on your base what you can do is you can smoke your phantom cigar while on the platform and it should automatically raise the morale of everyone around you see staff morale increased There we go. And the last tip, I think, is a tip that I should have shown you out in the field, but I totally forgot, is this um, this gadget, Noctosignin, 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 I think that's how you say it, Noctosignin, 
is one of the most important gadgets that is in the game basically if you don't have d-dog and you don't have someone to show you where everything is i mean where all the enemies are like if you're doing an fob infiltration or something then popping one of these will basically show you an outline Analysis of everyone in your complete. immediate surroundings well not even in your immediate surroundings like all over the place so you can quickly get a glimpse of who's around you and where everyone's positions are it doesn't last for that long but it is definitely one of the gadgets that you should always have with you i think that's the last tip um i don't really know how many tips there are but i will include a number in the title when i count it all up while i'm editing please like and subscribe if you like this video be sure to um, check out my Metal Gear Solid playlist for more Metal Gear Solid videos. I've got a lot more how-to videos and stuff in there. And I've got some gameplay videos of me attacking other people's FOBs and stuff like that. Also, feel free to check out my GTA 5 videos and my music videos. All of those video playlists should have been listed in the cards that you'll see in the top right hand of this video. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. You're pretty good. You're pretty good.